Hi, good morning. My name is Father Rayapa. I'm going to comment on the United Nations Year of Pulses 2016. And uh, in fact, pulse, the pulse in your body. I think it is equivalent to pulses. If you eat pulses, you will have right pulse. In other words, you will enjoy good health. They are great source of healthy vegetable protein and they are packed with essential nutrients. Pulses are part of a healthy, balanced diet. They play an important role in preventing diseases such as cancer, diabetes and heart disease. The nitrogen fixing properties of pulses, they have a smaller carbon footprint than many other crops, making them one of the most environmentally sustainable food choices. They produce only minimum waste. That waste also can be recycled, not like other uh, crops. They depend on heavily on fertilizers, pesticides, even genetically modified seeds. Pulses are low-fat source of protein, but high fiber content and low glycemic index. What is a glycemic index? That is glucose increase in blood. So pulses, when you eat, your, naturally the glucose is added to your blood and also very high in fiber also containing both soluble and insoluble fibers. What do I mean by that? Soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber helps to decrease blood cholesterol level. That is soluble fiber. It decreases cholesterol in your blood. And control blood sugar levels. And insoluble fiber helps with digestion and regularity. So insoluble, it can uh, help our process of digestion. Pulses provide an important amount of vitamins and minerals. Key minerals in pulses include iron, potassium, magnesium and zinc. Abundant in vitamins including folate, thiamine, and niacin. Pulses contain about twice the amount of protein found in whole grain cereals like wheat, oats, barley, and rice. They're all grass-based diet, usually known as, it is called uh, cereals, whole grain cereals. That's the technical word. Pulses are an important source of proteins and in most developing countries, they constitute the main source of protein for most populations, especially in Africa, South America, India, and also other parts of Asia. The World Health Organization estimates 80% of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes and over a third of cancers could be prevented by eliminating risk factors such as unhealthy diets and promoting better eating habits of which pulses are an essential component. So if we could eliminate practically all kinds of diseases, heart disease, cancer, the major diseases, by eating pulses, I think you are keeping all those diseases far, far away at bay. They're not going to cause any damage to your system because pulses will prevent you and they are like guardians of your cells and biology. Pulses are included in all food baskets wherever, which, whatever country you go in a food basket you find pulses and dietary guidelines. The World Food Program, that is WF, 
for instance, includes 60 grams of pulses in its typical food basket. So pulses, humans can use them. This is a global warming and climate change, uh, very, very difficult times we are facing. So we can reduce a lot of impact on global warming and climate change by eating pulses. We are mitigating uh, uh, problems associated with the other types of farming. So I think mitigation is very important. Pulses play a lot of roles and they uh, give us a lot of benefits and health benefits, um, spiritual benefits, environmental benefits and uh, uh, dietary benefits. There are so many benefits. So I think we need to eat a lot of pulses and please encourage your children to eat a lot of pulses. And thank you and you all have a nice day. Bye.